music or we'll say movies and stuff like that, video games. I don't do video game reviews and stuff like that. I do book reviews, but I don't do any other type of media up until now. Um, I didn't want to make it to like video essay. essay. I don't know how to. I don't want to be kind of like a run-of-the-mill video essay because I feel like there's a lot of those. And it kind of gets kind of repetitive. It's, you know, they talk about, for instance, upbringing, if you don't know who he is. And they talk about how you got to the show, what he's prominent for. And we talk about run-of-the-mill stuff when it comes to, like, shotting and what's different about it. And I'm just like, eh. So I try to get more of an authentic take on it as far as, like, from a black perspective. Because... It was a very relatable show, like I said, but I didn't want to make it be like, oh yeah, it was great, it was relatable. Okay, bye. I tried to expand upon it a little bit. Now, I do feel like I might start back writing scripts. I only wrote a script for like maybe one or two videos, mostly for the interview videos. I don't make notes and stuff like that. That's why I don't want to get back to doing more, but right now, currently with my situation going on, <laughs> I'm not really able to do interview with the people that I want to do interviews with, so, I've been trying to do more solo, you know, content as far as just with, you know, experimentation, different, um, even with the, the New York, not New York, what the hell, New Year's, sorry, I'm, I'm always tired, with the New Year's, with the New Year's video, um, I actually went to a event, it was a party, and there's supposed to be one like special act and that was a uh, Miley Sensei, a Sensei Miley. Sorry, it was Sensei Miley, you know. It was pretty fun. I didn't expect it to be other ven- vendors there as far as like other black businesses and stuff like that because I was really surprised to see um, like their clothing brand, the two clothing brands that I seen. Then also, I think it was media and something else. I know, um, I don't have it on top of my head right this second, but I am, I want to make bet this one, is it? Anyway, yeah, I was doing that. That was pretty fun. I was, that was on the fly. When I first got there, that was not planned at all. Like, as far as me doing the interview with those guys, nah, those were both separate. That wasn't at the same time I did one. Then I found a separate hallway that led to a whole different space, and I walked behind it. And boom, there was a little room. I walked in the room. Boom, there was a guy. And I was like, oh, shit. So I did that. And, um, yeah, that was cool. I met some guys. That was that was nice to meet up with them. I don't know if I'm ever going to see them again, but I think maybe in the um, future I could try to hit them up and see if I could. Is it going to let me do that? The thing you know is an act. Anyway, um, I'll be bidding the small change. I got 48,000. Come on. But anyway, um, yeah, I was doing that. That was cool. I chopped it up into three videos because I felt like if I tried to make it one, it would have been confusing. And I was just like, I don't want to do that, so... Plus, it would have been jarring having, like, musical. I guess I could have did a vlog, but I don't like doing that. Because I feel so awkward. At least to me, I do. I don't know. When I this, and then I got a feeling like me driving over there and, like, me getting in the car. And it, it'd be too much going on to really be doing that. I'm not always in the safest environments in some of these places. So I, I need to be paying attention to my surroundings. I don't want to be walking around with a camera like this. Hi guys and blah 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 blah. So that's why I did it the way I did. So, yep, I did that. That was. I don't know. I might do more events like that, but behind the scenes, I'm at to work on my business stuff. That's probably the main thing I need to work on. The behind is this scenes work. And I'm not talking about editing, I'm talking about etiquette, as far as online and stuff like that. I need to probably work on that, because sometimes I don't always understand who's running the event and who's promoting it and the different acts and all that. I have a hard time getting everybody's information. I think I already said this. Um, 
And that leads to another topic, my social media. So I definitely um I definitely went ahead and deactivated my social media because I am tired. I'm tired, I ain't gonna lie. I need a break from social media. I've had some unfortunate events happen in my life recently and I just do not need to be online right now. I just don't. I just don't have the energy. I don't feel like it. I'm not really in the mood. And I feel like if I had social media right now with me not posting this stuff, people just would have been like, why are you not posting? Why are you not posting? And some stuff I just don't feel like it's for public knowledge. So I was like, I went ahead and just deactivated it for now. Hmm. I'll probably bring it back in the future, but for right now, nah. So. I don't know exactly when either. I don't have a time frame or anything like that. So. Yeah. But in the other news, yeah, I've been experimenting. I'm still reading. There's a video coming up. I have. I'm almost done with the book. Then I started another book. This will be kind of different. I'm going to see how it goes. I don't really know how I'm going to do it. I'm just kind of free balling right now with the idea in my head. What I'm pretty sure I want to do. I want to do a video about it, so I probably am. No, what the? This game is very janky. Can we just do that? Can we just there? But yeah, just gonna go ahead and keep on doing what I'm doing. But I am gonna be working on certain stuff, like I would say. more shots I'm gonna try to get a better tripod and do some more shots some more angles a lot of you don't probably know that but I do have an extensive background in the media I just need to actually get the equipment I worked with it in the past when it comes to different stuff I just don't have it right now <laughs> I'm still trying to quote unquote find like a certain place I want and I want to invest in that place and grow it and stuff like that and that'll be all coming in the future but for right now i'm kind of just working with what i got it's been working so far i'm not i'm not uh not complaining i like the results i'm getting with the stuff i have because i could be doing all hours but by the grace of a high power i am doing a-okay so yeah i just won 91k off this man for doing a very questionable thing and you know, I think they're talking or something but anyway so yeah I need to get on that I mean oh, okay that's cool and then um I don't like that something like damn all this shit so besides all that everything's been cool so far what is this a gold diamond ring. Okay. So yeah, that's all I've been doing. Just working on my shit. I've been writing too. I've been practicing writing scripts and writing different types of media. I do write sensitively in my personal life. I just don't put it online. I haven't wrote a book or anything. I have an idea about some stuff, but nothing's in the works right now, so yeah but i do have some ideas about that i just been kind of exploring my creative space and doing certain stuff um still doing media i did the thumbnail for one of the videos i think it was what is a crime which i still feel like i should have changed the title on that but i actually did a thumbnail for that i wasn't that was just i was just drawing um and it turned into that, and I just slapped some wording on it, and I was like, I guess I'll make it to thumbnail, and I think it made a little bit of a difference, I guess it gave me kind of an idea, instead of just seeing kind of like a freeze frame of my face sometimes, you know, I guess it got to give an idea what the video was about, I know what the Vince Sable thing, I know that definitely had an effect, just putting the title up there, as far as like the thumbnail being the actual content on the video, instead of just having my face, I think the other variation was, that one um no one screenshot of I think it's White Chicks I think it's a movie I don't know if I'm saying the right title but 
It's a movie with, you know, the Wayne brothers, white chicks, or white girls, or something like that. I didn't want that to be the, the I feel like this is a little bit clickbaiting, because it's not what the video is about, it's not about, it really, there's no context. The only context it has is when talking about how black men are portrayed in different media, so that's really about it. Um, and I only used it for like two seconds, I didn't really talk much about that specific movie. When I was talking about Vin, the Vince Staples show, I was just talking about it in, in general. So, it was just an example. But yeah, other than that, I really don't have much else going on outside of that. Oh, the writing stuff is pretty cool. I don't, what the fuck, what is this, what are you doing? I wish I could turn to what you call it. Hey, I'm not doing that, no. Not going all in. But yeah, it was only got a thousand. Damn. Hell no. But yeah. That's all I've been doing so far. Just writing. As far as writing stuff, I want to do some videos, but also, I don't like how structured a video essay feels. Like, you just could write it in your own voice and tone, but I feel like that only goes so far. Because you only can say so many things about a video from so many perspectives. And for me, kind of just saying what I need to say and then just clicking the off button and posting it is way better than me having to like write down stuff to look at and read it then I'm like well wait sorry like overthinking my thoughts and stuff and I'm like I don't need I don't want to do that so that's why I just record it all the way edit it a little bit and throw it up now with the interview video I, I do prepare for those I do try to research the individual beforehand um I don't go too deep into it. I don't like go visit people that know them and interview them because it's not a documentary. It's just, why is everybody fucking doing this? They were fine. I don't, I don't care. Um, yeah, I just, I try to do like a little bit of research. I try to, especially if they're like a musical artist, I try to like listen to their music and stuff and watch other interviews and stuff they've been, that, that they've done in the past, so I don't ask, you know, redundant questions and whatnot. Um, I think the hardest part is just actually setting it up, like setting up a date and time. That has been the hardest part. I would say that is the most agonizing part of the whole process is really just that trying to just set it up. Because some people are so like, if you don't set it up the right way the first time, they just never want to do it again some people like are so i don't know anxious they want to like know immediately and then you start like trying to change it and let's do this let's do that let's not do this let's not do that it's, it's, it's like what, what can we just set up one date and time at a location that we're both comfortable with and then boom like i think for a couple of people i did in the past especially more towards the beginning of when I kind of changed the shift in my channel. First, I was just posting beats and stuff I was making when I was like in my teenage years, and then I started posting like a podcast, and I'm still currently doing that podcast. I'm just um kind of not. I still want to do it with other people with co-hosts. I feel like it makes it a lot more interesting having different people with different opinions instead of just being me talking, which I know people okay with that but I still want to get some other perspectives I might do it in a different way it just depends on really how I go about it and just if it works with other people too cause it's, I mean I don't know that's the best way I can say it so I got some ideas like I might I don't, I don't want to say them but if you take my idea and run off with it um, but I got some ideas on what I want to do in the future where I can get some other opinion without always having them like physically there. Maybe I don't know. I can set it up. I think I could do it. It's just all in due time. Some of this is just in time. Like I know for the next couple of months, I'm gonna try to work on some stuff. I don't have any long-term videos. I don't have eight or nine videos planned out in the future, but I do have like I know for a fact. I want to at least um, do a little bit of some stuff. 
do some little stuff here and there and see if it works. If it, if it doesn't, I still want to at least, I don't know, I want to do what I want when it comes to, um, yeah, I didn't skip that on the thousand dollars. So, uh, but yeah, I just want to do that. So, I'm still kind of shipping around for my sort of quote unquote, um, mm, like, I'm gonna keep on with the book reviews. I definitely like those. With those specifically, I think I kind of. I know in the books I'm reading two and the books I'm reading one, I kind of combine both of those editing styles into one with, I would say, the Revolution Suicide video. That's one of my favorite videos that I've done. Um, I didn't do a lot of editing. I did very basic editing, but I did. I think I wrote a tiny, not a script, but I did write some words to kind of keep me on track. Because when I'm talking about the Black Panthers, it is very, it can be, you get a lot of different accounts of a lot of different events. It's not always, quote unquote, you know, accurate. Some people have lied or took them back statements or the times have changed. And then it's the whole sexism thing. Like, oh my goodness, I wasn't sexist. Some people are sexist, especially back during that time. So, oh boy. It gets it gets real controversial and stuff, and you have to be you have to watch what you're saying. That's why I kind of chose that book specifically instead of making a video about the Black Panthers themselves, because like I said, I didn't want to go into that realm because it's just and you can make so many videos about so many aspects of the Black Panthers themselves. You can even talk about how they even first started. You can probably make a whole documentary that's on that itself, like. They were truly, uh, uh, you had to be in that type of situation. Like, it's hard for me to wrap my head around it when I even talk about it because I really wish I could, like, see them. The only account I do have, and I didn't, I don't think I mentioned this in the video, but when I was real young, I actually did go to a Black Panther, um, meeting as a kid. I went with my parents. Yeah, it was a wasn't really a big moment to me as a kid i was just more or less like oh, okay i was just wonder why everybody was so like stone faced everybody was like very like just not making that many facial expressions or like expressing themselves everybody kind of like they said what they needed to say that they moved on then they kept doing chants and stuff and i was like confused but it was cool and like they had the dj there um it was i won't <laughs> i can't I can't talk about every aspect of it because I'm pretty sure I oh, want certain, um, I'm, I'm just not going to talk extensively about it, every aspect. It, it's certain things about it that are just real. I feel I'm going to talk about certain aspects that I will frame from talking about right now in the video that's coming out when I finish this book. That's going to be real soon, actually. I'm, I'm going to finish this book really so I'm already about 70% done with it. It's not that long of a book, but it is. It's a famous book. I'm just. I don't know how. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Tired. That's a very derogatory term for. Um. I would say the title. When talking about black people, that's the only hint I'm gonna give on it. Well, yeah, it is not. It is not a, I don't know, I'm going to be, I might have to do a little bit of research for this, for this video. That's also why I'm kind of like spinning with some stuff too, because I'm like, I know for a fact this upcoming video I'm going to have to do is going to be probably 30 minutes at least. I think it's going to be at least 30, 30 minutes. I, I know it is. So I'm just kind of preparing myself. I'm kind of thinking about it, kind of, you know, like I said, writing scripts and stuff. I'm gonna have to definitely, um, okay, lady, I, I'm not doing that. You can, you have fun with that. But yeah, 
I'm definitely just going to keep on moving forward with different videos and whatnot and seeing this, just how far I can go with it, I'm not going to lie. I'm having, I'm having a lot of fun just playing around and editing and just seeing how people react to certain things. A loud ass siren. But yeah. Just gonna be doing that. I don't really have too much to talk about, but let's see how much time we're going on. Oh, it's not even 20 minutes yet. Yeah, I'm not gonna make this too damn long. But yeah, I'm just gonna be doing that. I'm having fun. I'm, I'm enjoying myself definitely. I just really wish. Okay, I'm looking forward that it is. I just really wish I um did this towards the beginning, but it took a lot of time to get confident. To be honest with you, when it came to doing interviews and stuff, I didn't just jump right into this. I had to work my way up. It did help that I was already studying journalism in college, so. Some of this was already kind of part of my, I kind of had to do it sort of thing. And with journalism, you can't really be shy. I mean, you kind of, you have to be upfront about things and you have to like ask people, talk to people and deal with people incentively in that job field. So I was definitely doing that. And it helped. Um, but of course, there's different things happen. And I had to take a break. And now, right where I'm at right now, I probably could do some interviews, but I, I'm, I want to go in a certain direction. I don't want to just interview anybody, you know. If I do interview, oh, sorry. If I do interview somebody where it's like, I'm quote unquote, um, I don't want to say, let me say, um, to what I'm quote unquote interviewing certain types of people is either going to be for a video or it's going to be a series so where there's a purpose i'm not just interviewing anybody just for the sake of anybody i'm doing it for a reason for a purpose and then when i'm done with that purpose or reason then i'm going to move on to the next one i don't want to be stagnant i don't want to be always interviewing the same people i want to branch out some more that's why on my channel we see my co-host in the back if you look a couple couple months back I had Josh and then I had Zay. Zay does tattoos and he does, you know, murals and stuff and just artwork and painting. So I was like, that's cool. That's a different aspect because I do that, but I don't talk about it too much. Um, and so I wanted another perspective from his perspective. Plus, he was in college for sociology, so he could talk a little bit more when it came to facts and whatnot and what he learned in school and how it applies to certain topics we talked about. Now, in the beginning, it was very messy. We were, we were kind of just spitballing. I didn't make, like, a piece of paper, like, the different topics we're going to talk about and stuff like that. I would kind of just, I would try to send some links out. Then we would, like, read them or, you know, review them. Then we will talk about, like, how we felt about it. I think if I did it now, I would probably do it a different way. You know. But we're definitely going to do some more stuff. It's not like, I think I just did a video with that. I've been trying to get a video with Josh, but Josh be busy. So, our schedules don't always line up the way we the way we want them to. But I definitely want to do some more content with uh with Josh. But, Zay is usually more available than Josh. And I do need to do a big video with him when it came to his uh, Atlanta. I forgot what it's called. It's Atlanta something. I know it was it was something to do with black artists. I don't want it to go, but I was not even in state. I think I was doing something completely different. Um, so I wasn't able to go. I really wish I could have. That would have been cool, you know, to be able to film Zay through his whole process. And then uh, I probably would have had to do a documentary style on that if I would have got different perspectives and interview different artists and stuff and how he felt about the overall event but then I feel like I would have had to be me I would have did a whole bunch of journalism type work which I'm fine with I actually don't mind doing journalism type work um I just really wish I was at a point in my life where it was more 
somewhat of a financial burden, especially when I do when I want to do bigger projects. I'm at the wait and really either build my fan base to the point where they support me in a way to where I'm able to do the video I want to do to where I get enjoyment out of it and they get enjoyment they're gonna get to watch the finished, you know, polished product. But right now this is not available or if I'm able to land a job to where it pays my bill so much and it doesn't take so much of my time to where I can quote unquote go out and do these other events and these larger scale projects without having to worry about it. But it's all in the future. I'm not too much worried about it. I'm just kind of anxious. I say I'm ready to go ahead and do it because it's, you know, of course it's more fun traveling and, you know, interviewing different ethnicities and different perspectives and different individuals, different spaces. But if you don't have it in your budget or you just don't have the money to do that, you're going to have to wait and just pay your dues. And when you get to that point, you're like, we're able to do that, you know? You'll be able to do that. And that's kind of what I'm waiting on. That's exactly what I am waiting on. But having fun in the process. I'm having a lot of fun in the process. I'm not going to lie. When I was doing a graphic design work, and I got to the point where it was kind of like, you know, I would get, you know, decent money. I had clientele and stuff. I felt kind of stagnant. I didn't really like that. I like trying out new stuff. I like doing new stuff and new things and stuff like that so I definitely wanted to um I definitely wanted to continue doing that that's also why I started this YouTube channel so I could branch out and post on my other things just so I could see so I liked it I, it was definitely something that I like to do especially when we making beats in the past I might end up making a second channel for that, maybe. But I do have some stuff going on behind the scenes, and I am working with some newer people, I'm working with Q. Um, pretty sure I posted them. I've definitely had them on my channel before. Just I haven't had them on in a minute because, like I said, I'm doing certain stuff and still living my life, so I'm not always, quote unquote, available all the time to really be able to do stuff especially right now like I said I'm having to do solo content just because of everything that's going on but I'm definitely going to try to uh, I'm exiting out of this stupid um, I'm definitely going to try to go ahead and do some more stuff with them cue some other individuals that I'm going to plug in so I'm going to try to post any links and stuff in the description, but it's going to be fun. I'm I'm really excited for the future. So, that's what I can say. Anything else I'm not talking about is because it's not top secret, but if I told y'all, it would reveal a lot of things. And it wouldn't be much of a surprise if you're anticipating it, because I want it to be kind of a of what is this type of experience. I don't want y'all to really have an indication of what's going on. Unless, like I said, it's not a, if it's like a regular event that you know I'm gonna post in the future, then you know, I don't really don't care. But for the more experimental stuff, I definitely want it to be more of a um, surprise. So I'm not really gonna give too much away when it comes to that. But I think y'all will enjoy it. So it seems like y'all been enjoying it so far, the diversity. Um of, uh, the diversity when it comes to the different types of videos. I think I really enjoy it. So I'm gonna continue doing that. I'm just gonna throw in some um some curve balls here and there to see what y'all think about it. And I wanna explore some different stuff too, so it's kind of a you know what lady, I'm about sick of you. I'm actually gonna put up Put up with that, yeah, 1.5. Okay, but yeah, I'm gonna try to just do that. Um, I'm gonna keep doing that. I don't want to start rambling, or well, I have been rambling, but I got a flush. Uh, I don't want to start um, 
repeat myself or sound redundant, so I'm just gonna end it right here. But I'm gonna try to edit this a little bit more, make it more engaging instead of me just talking, even though we do have the you know thing. I'm gonna set it up so y'all can see the screen in me at the same time. But I thank y'all for watching. This is a little update video. Also, me working with some oop, hit the mic. Also, me working with some different types of uh, you know, setups and stuff, and seeing what y'all think about it. But I'm gonna check it out on the next one. Thank y'all for watching again.